What's up everybody, welcome to another episode. Today I'm at Silvermere Golf Club getting my fitting. A full bag from driver, woods, irons, putter and wedges. Hopefully, you know what we see. And they're using Srixon 4 balls. That's not bad. Srixon, Ping, Callaway, TaylorMade, it's just, it's like a golfer's dream. The place is all about there, you can sit right in the middle of our sort of hitting zone somewhere around there. So, yeah, look a few away when you're ready. Don't carry driver at the moment? My driver actually broke um, and I just decided not to replace it That's um, a while back. The consistency for my shot when I see it is a little more intense. Little, right? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to look at those, isn't it? No. Yeah. Pretty good, really. Okay. I mean, okay, yeah, the ball is moving left, but quite simply, what you're doing is leaving the place like that. It doesn't what I choose, um, no. for me, it doesn't really matter. But whatever works. Forgiving, yeah. I don't think I need much more distance. I think I can... So no, I mean, so you're, you're getting the right sort of yardage for your club head speed. So, yeah. I mean, logical one is, I've seen you play TaylorMade for a long time, so let's start with TaylorMade. Yeah. Um, no more logic than that. Okay. Okay, that's good. So automatically, yeah. I can sit from this, yeah. um, when I put a club down, I feel like it sits up better. Yeah. So whereas the other one, I felt like I had to, I had to be down here. Yeah, it's a little bit longer and it's a bit more upright. Yeah, just okay. Just based on just so you see those first few swings. Okay. Felt nice? It felt amazing, it felt like butter. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like someone's just given me like a cushion around yeah. it. I'm not feeling a smash against my hand. The big thing is that a couple of the better shots with yours there were a little bit low in the face, so that you're going to get a bit more vibration through them. Yeah. Whereas, say that, because they were just absolute bang centre, it's going to just feel nice. Yeah. That's the sort of one I quite like to see, because the strike, you know, not was not good, solid, yeah. But it's a fine free straight, still under control. And it's funny, I've heard this a lot where that people say, clubs are forgiving and they just tell you until you actually hit it. Yeah. And I, don't, I generally felt that that ball should have gone like that. Like yeah. I literally felt like I kind of turned it. Yeah, just look at that, show a lot more soil, a lot more down the line. Yes, it's going further, that's all well and good. But the big positive is it's also flying a lot higher and coming down a bit steep. So that's good. Get one more with that. Good. Right, put that one to the side for a second. We'll just hit a few with it, each part of the start for there. Pretty nice, that's a very good start. Yeah, kind of okay. The same weight as actually what you've been using, what I've got in there. Well, okay. Just keeping some consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was. That felt so good. Good. Oh, right. Just a little comparison. Yeah, I think, you know, still a little bit right, but again, really consistent, both here and here, which is mm. nice. So if we took the misket out, I mean, that's the cool thing. So the one that was making the circle a little bit deeper front to back was purely the one that you, you call heavy. Yeah. Whereas there's no deviation there. It's the same distance each time. Now, consistency of distance is pretty important. So. We were averaging around the 175, you know, a couple of iffy ones there with the ping, it dropped mm -hmm. back down to 150s. Straight back into that, and we're back, back to in the game, right? And your swing doesn't change in that split second between changing the club, no. so it just shows that that's you know going to be working a little bit better for you. Okay. And again, that dispersion's really nice and consistent. So yeah, yeah Taylor May's looking very promising right there. All right. <laughs> I was going to take this T2 Okay. So, so all of these would be very similar. 
performance potentially on paper. Start again. Can I blame the club for that? <laughs> so, how's it looking after the first? It's it's good. He's literally just giving me a, a trial and error situation where I'm just trying a different club each time. And any time, looks at the statistics, whichever one I'm hitting the best, I'll go back to it. Maybe try something else. I'll keep going back to it after trying others. And it seems that the tailor-made are the ones that are outperforming the rest. It's just funny how this all works. I mean, obviously there is something in the technology which separates them, but you just can't tell by looking at it, right? Face value, it's just a club but obviously the stuff that's built in, that's gonna make things a bit different. But nevertheless, I'm enjoying it. Um, some dove shops, shots obviously, that um, haven't helped. Let's see, let's see what my shaft's gonna end up like. Let's see what my head's gonna be, or my grip. And hopefully I can leave here with a nice set of clubs. So the clubs that I've tried so far, I've tried the Ping i525. Didn't seem to go too well, but again, we might try that again later. I've also tried a Titleist T200. Again, with an AMT shaft. I've also tried a Callaway Apex, again, but this one's with a, I'm not sure what shaft that is. And then by all means, it's come down to this one here. So far, doing the best. It's the TaylorMade P790 with a dynamic gold shaft. These are all where the numbers are going. So, so far you can see with a seven iron, I've hit shots with the TaylorMade P790s, T200s, the Ping 525 and it's just giving me all the numbers. Um, and regardless, whatever I do, I jump back to the TaylorMade, and it seems to be the one that's performing well. One key thing he said, which is, which is really important, is that um, the seven iron is getting a good bit of loft, which means it's, it's going to be coming down. It's going to be stopping a lot faster. And every golfer wants that if you're playing a seven iron onto a green, you know, you want the ball to less roll, if that, if that makes sense. All these things are important. I didn't really think about that before I came, but now I can see the benefits of it. So if I can get more loft in it, but obviously the distance comes with it, then I'm happy.
Dress when I look at it. I mean, that does sound nice, though. Yeah. It sounds really it's nice. interesting when we hit that.
If you could, that'd be great. Right. My right to say feels heavier? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is that club face or is it just me? Club face. The face was eight degrees shut. Everything else was very neutral. Good angle of attack, good path. Okay. Sense of strike. No. It just for some reason it just, yeah. just felt like it was effortless. about 37 and a quarter. This will measure 37 and a half to the under grip. So it's okay. nothing crazy different. Okay, right, um, interesting. But the biggest difference is the line, so the club's sitting a bit more upright for you. Yeah. Sort of 55, 60 you got, going sort of 54, 58. Okay. So these. Right, now a couple of little short ones. Oh, a bit more weight in it, okay. Yeah.
All right, guys, so it looks like I'm done. It's been brilliant having Jamie do all the fitting with me. Absolute top guy, knows his stuff. Went through driver all the way down to wedges and I've ended up with a Callaway driver with the Callaway three wood. I've gone for a stealth hybrid. It just felt so good. I, I can't explain it. It just the one that worked the best. And then for irons, I've gone TaylorMade P790s with a dynamic gold uh, 105, 105 shaft. And then wedges, honestly, I, I, never, I haven't seen these yet. I've been heard them being talked about, but I've ended up with the Ping Glides. Now, as you're all going to be thinking, oh, but did you try Vokies? Did you, what I did. And um, these just felt nicer. Um, I can't explain how it did, but it just did. The grips feel really good as well. I felt quite confident using them and holding them. Now the putter. Now I'm going to go and try and find a putter somehow. I'm going to do some testing and try a few bits and bobs because unfortunately I need to retire good old Monza over there. And obviously I've got the new bag as well, which I got for my birthday, the stealth bag. So I'm almost there. So I'm going to go draw it up, do all the paperwork. And that's the end of my fitting. Thanks to Jamie. Thanks to everybody else who's been helping out. Thanks to you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.